You're tuned into The Trap. You're tuned into The Trap. You're tuned into The Trap House Rocks Show. Miss LB Management. Blacksterra. 063. Eventlevel.com. Promoting Indie. Indie Republic. We are Indie. Say, say, what's happening, man? It's your boy, Shout Out L.O. Right now on Trap House Rocks. Rocks. Yo, what up? It's your boy, me, Millie, man. We in the Trap House. You already know how we doing it, man. We stay in the motherfucking Trap House zone we do. Giving y'all the hottest music on the streets right now. Let's get it. Oh, you already know what time it is. It's your boy, Mass Bike Miles. And right now, you tuned in to the number one trap house in the world. Trap house. Let's go. What up, girl? It's your girl, Bay Bay. And you are now tuned in to Trap House Rocks Radio. EventLevel.com. With the queen, Miss LP. And the king, Enough Star. You already know what it is, fam. Keep on rocking. Trap House Rocks. Exclusive. On D and T Y, go some Rayquan, Big Daddy Kane, 91 Nas, 92 Big Yeah, 94 Pop. I cook a whole brick and let my rap. I got a trampoline trap, my chick jump all night. Boy, I got old to that fish scale and dumb hard white. Yo, who you know in Carolina got Broadway, yay? The fiends dance for it like they in a Broadway play. Yo, I got plugs over here, I'm plugged over there. Plug, 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 nigga, I'm plugged everywhere. And when Migo come through, ain't no Abla English. But he play with them keys and don't use no fingers. I saw Kilo niggas turn into Christina's. When them niggas go to jail, they some real good singers. When I say Tata, I ain't talking about Queens, I'm talking T.Y. Winston, the kid with the fiends. And back, back, when I dig in them Levi jeans, I get cut like a nigga who ain't make the team. A nigga, fuck if I don't make the screen. If I know how to take a back of hard white and make it green. And motherfucker, I could pay your fee. $50, he'll break in your Lexus and take your screens. While you frontin', I'ma get this cream. Then cop a old school with a rag top and make it lean. Every time I play the strip, I make a scene. If my car keep flip flopping blue to green. Yeah, that's candy, baby. And it's official. I got my shit painted in Miami, baby. Got soldiers that's ready to buck. So I could get you wet. Like a horny bitch ready to fuck. Or when that danger leave a hole in you, Reese cup signs. And I'm like George. And I be wearing that 4-5 more, more niggas more alive You'll come home and find your mother and your kids In the living room hog tied And we ain't through yet We killing everybody in your whole family Nigga, then we getting you wet On D&T-Y, go some Rayquan Big Daddy Kane, 91 Nas 92 Big, yeah, 94 Pop I cook a whole brick and let my rap House on D&T-Y, EPMD 93 Mob, Jay-Z and 88 in the club, 50, new 3,000 locks. I took a whole brick and left my rap house. I don't want Ziggy will I'm, hit me at like 5 in the morning. Miss LB, can you take my video down? Can you do this? Can you do that? And I'm like, Oh, Ziggy, it's Sunday morning. I've got a hangover. You know, stop that. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I'm there when they need know, me. Right? You know, um, now also tonight, I'm going to play an exclusive record after our interview with uh, Frank Spiff. This record comes from my friend Detroit Flex. OK, out of Detroit, of course. Um, it's timeless music. Uh, I mean, timeless creations out of Detroit. They're 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 my peoples. You know, my boy Sino is the producer. Uh, Detroit Flex is the artist. He's actually getting ready to drop his album. So he's real excited about that. It's called Assault and Battery. You can look for that any day. We're going to release that. So you're going to get to hear The Crown featuring Ava, Ava Stewart off of uh, his new album. So that's, you know, it's nowhere online yet. So this is an exclusive record for all you listeners. Um, Let me say this real quick, LB. I'm telling everybody right now, keep a lookout in the next one to three years Detroit is going to be the hottest music city on planet Earth again. You mark my words. We got to shout out my boy Detroit Six. Believe it. Yeah, you're out there in Michigan. What's up? What's it like That's out what I'm there? I'm talking about the music scene. 
It's cold as hell. <laughs> it's coming back, you know, man. The music is, is here right now, you know. Everybody got studios stopping off. Great beats. Now, what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a short break because I want to go ahead and get our guest, Frank Spiff, in the building with us. You guys are going to love him. He is like a breath of fresh air to me. Uh, when I first heard his first record, I was like, yeah, what's up? You know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm ready to work with you. So uh, you're going to you're gonna love this guy. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with y'all. Stay tuned in to Trap. We'll be right back with y'all. What's up? By myself right now. No, I'm just kicking. Uh huh. Uh, let me get back to you on that. Yeah, I think I might just chill today. Yeah. Hi. Right. One. Nowadays, the world is so deranged. Trying to imagine the sun through the rain. Just want to chill and do my own thing. Tonight, I'm trying to kick it like Luke Kane. Turn off my brain cause my thoughts still itching and shit Tonight I'm trying to kick it like Lil' Kane Tonight I'm trying to kick it like Lil' Kane Smooth shit like the back of a nigga mold Wrap underneath the top hat with the top back Sometimes I feel trapped in the box Just a dormitory parakeet I wanna leave this purgatory parody How y'all for life hallucinatory clarity Food for your soul, head vibing to the melody Food for your flow, baby, oratory ecstasy the therapy, spontaneity, the essence of a free man. So call me weird, but I'm just trying to free man. Loving this moments where I wish that I could freeze time. Loving this life is wrong, I'm guilty of the free crime. Sinners, led by imaginary oppressors. Sinners, lost in these temporary forevers. I'm just trying to chill like a guy named Trevor. Do my own thing, perfect day, July and December. Nowadays, the world is so deranged. Trying to imagine the sun through the rain. Just want to chill. My own thing. Tonight I'm trying to kick it like Liu Kang. Turn off my phone cause my girl just bitching. Turn off my brain cause my thoughts still itching and shit. Tonight I'm trying to kick it like Liu Kang. Tonight I'm trying to kick it like Liu Kang. In the end only the humble will make it. In the beginning all the foolish will fake it. Fools gold is what they left with so take it. But be careful too much weight you might break it. It's hip hop the euphemism for a new religion. If so the love the Religion for that euphemism. I know I shouldn't, but I'm enticed because she seems so different. The way she moves, I'm falling up my good intuition. Let's take a walk through the park under the branches of the tree. Is that the sky through the clouds? Run through the autumn tinted leaves. I said we can start a revolution, spread love, peace, joy. You know, start a revolution. She said I like the sound of your elocution. Sound like backwards evolution. Picked up my sack, put my thoughts in my back, cause tonight I'm trying to do my own thing. Nowadays, the world is so deranged Trying to imagine the sun through the rain Just want to chill and do my own thing Tonight I'm trying to kick it like Liu Kang Turn off my phone cause my girl just bitching Turn off my brain cause my thoughts still itching and shit Tonight I'm trying to kick it like Liu Kang Tonight I'm trying to kick it like Liu Kang Nowadays, the world is so deranged Trying to imagine the sun through the rain Just want to chill and do my own thing and now for our feature presentation now i told the people that you're like a breath of fresh air to me when i hear your content and everything that you have but we got to let the people know you come out of chicago but today let's just go ahead and talk about today today he dropped a video but it's not only dropping his video today he dropped his first content like as an artist, correct, out there today for the world. That's true. I've been working for quite a bit of time, but I really dropped my first project today, so I'm very excited about that. Now, normally we would have people who have tons and tons and tons of content out there. Now, I know that you loved music as a child and all the way th you know, through your life, but what made you wait to put put out your project you know what I mean because you're about to drop an album or an EP album so what made you wait I mean really what made me wait was just the fact that I was never really satisfied with what I put together um I mean I don't been I've been making music for a hot hot ass I man it had to be you know, five ten years at this point but I was never really satisfied with it 
Uh, but you weren't satisfied? The producers or the, just yourself or what? Yeah, um, I mean, I, I've dealt with a good amount of producers. I produce myself, uh, engineer myself as well. Nice. So now, with that being said, you are an artist, you're a producer, an audio engineer. I mean, you dibble and dabble with hip hop to rap to R&B to pop to R&B, even soul and jazz. So, so you're very well-rounded as an artist. I can tell already by the content that I've already heard from you. See, I get the sneak peek. Y'all haven't heard everything yet, yeah. so. And I gotta say, there's something about him because like, I've been working with LB for quite a while now. <laughs> and she, she, she been talking about you. I'm not saying she's in love or anything like that with music and she's really digging your shit because I've had to hear about it all day today and yesterday. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out, and you Listen, have like six records. Why is this happening off the first record? I know greatness when I see it. Now he's very talented. I can tell that. And when I say a breath of fresh air, it means that I'm really digging. I mean, it's like, it's not just the average music that you're hearing out there on the radio or out there on the internet radio or anywhere. It's, it makes you feel good. So we'll say it's feel good music. There you okay. Go. It's not like one line throughout the whole song. You know what I mean? He's 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 very lyrical. Well, what you turned me on to, I was like, when you, after you told me he's, it's his first record, I was like, what? You sounded like you've been around for a minute. Yeah, because he per perfected those skills, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right, exactly but, right. But how are you feeling right now? Because uh, your video, actually what we're gonna do is, we are going to, debut your video right here on this live stream right here uh, in a second but how you feeling though knowing that this first video has dropped and it's fucking awesome you guys are gonna see it um now let's talk about who filmed it who filmed your uh video for you and edited yeah so uh who filmed my video was an individual by the name of brian zalaki of the elevator music group Huge, huge music organization out in Chicago. Brian's a real cool dude. As um, soon as we met up, we instantly clicked really well, and he got my visuals right. So, can't say nothing but good things about Brian and Elevator Mag as a music organization. I'll say this before we watch the video because we're going to watch it right now. It makes you feel good when you watch it, and you might love it. Well, you've already saw it, but you're gonna love it. it again. Yeah, uh, I'll say I love it again. I mean, it made me feel good when I watched it. You let let me mean? ask you this: it's very HD. It's good. It's a great video. Let me ask you this: Seems how you've been doing music for a while, you just haven't released it. But releasing it now, are you like real nervous about what the people are gonna say and stuff like? I mean, are you wrapped up in all that shit, or you don't you don't give a shit? You do music for you. Yeah, I mean. I do music for me. I'm not really. Oh, I think we, I think we lost him. We didn't lose him, but he has faded out. Um, he's faded out for a second. Uh, maybe we should start the video. Uh, yeah, we lost him. We'll we'll get him back in a second. Let's continue to talk about him while we're trying to get him back. Yeah. Um, like I said, uh, I think that sometimes when I start working with an artist, I get more excited than they are <laughs> to drop something. Cause I'm like, you know, I, I just get excited. You know, I love music and that's what I do. So it, you know. Hopefully that never changes. Cause I think that's what makes you who you are with music. Same with myself. Like I've been doing music a long time. I'm just excited about it today. It may be even more so today than it was 20 years ago. So you can't lose that edge. Do we have Frank back in the building? You do have Frank back in the building. Let's I'm turn that camera back on. We got him back. So right now what we're going to do is we're all going to be quiet and we're going to let you guys watch his brand new video one time right here on Trapped Out Tuesday. So here we go. Blow smoke till a nigga can't see no more. Blow smoke till a nigga can't see no more. The rent is due, but I'm just trying to get higher. Put the L in the sky. Set that bitch on fire. Yeah. I gotta elevate. 
I smoke a L a day, today wasn't a win, so I gotta smoke the L away. Oh no, that's red, oh, no, that's red. My team smoke that, kush, blunt skunk up front, then we blow bad. Light a new event, serve up the entree. Taking flights through the pipe, smoking bomb. Bay shorty pussy the bomb, yeah. Hit her with the pound, yeah. Slid her the loud, her head gave me the sound, yeah. I blew it up, but it's back to the flow again. Another blunt, another bong, another bowl again. Break it down, roll it up, seal the vapor, smoke it up. Lungs in, lungs out, cognac, we go it up, elevated. If smoking was a class, I would get an F, cause I'm faded. Me and cuz we smoke zones, nothing but the best way I get high. It's like an S on my chest, yes. I'm in my element, getting cake, smoking weight, I'm talking riding elephants. And at the end of the day, if it don't go my way, I just let it and say I made it through another day. Blow smoke till the nigga can't see no more. Blow smoke till the nigga can't see no more. The rent is but I'm just trying to get higher. Put the ale in the sky, set that bitch on fire. One time, for my time. One time. A day just to get away. Colorado loud pack smoking jar. LOA smoke in my brain and it's clouding up my judgment. Walk through the crowd, know I'm loud like a newborn in public. I'm from the windy, so you know a nigga blow trees. You blow one, you blow two, I'm finna blow three. Falling like Ginobili. Man, they can't hold me. The thrax in this pack got me feeling like I'm rolling. No tires, getting higher. I got weed, got blunt, got lighter. Stay high like I can pay as a pilot. With my niggas all day smoking cushion and violin. Just try it, I know you like it. Everything's a little better when you a little high shit. Or maybe I'm just high shit. I don't know, I'm feeling myself. The man on my neck tell me that I'm killing myself. If that's the case, then I'm ready to die. Not worry about living long, cause I'm already alive. And at the end of the day, if it don't go my way, I just light it, Ellen, so I made it through another day. Blow smoke till a nigga can't see no more. Blow smoke till a nigga can't see no more. The rain is over, I'm just trying to get higher. Put the air in the sky, set that bitch on fire. Yeah. One time for my home. One time. clearer than we could see but um what you smoking on out there is my first question because i mean you know obviously i want to know because the video i mean shit <laughs> smoking on nothing but the loudest of the loud Kush pack purple all day <laughs> ain't smoke reggie since i was man make it through another day <laughs> Now, let's talk a little bit more about your therapy album that's going to drop soon. What can the people expect from the, you know, they've heard one track. What can they expect? I mean, therapy in general is really kind of a, um, a synopsis of who I am as a person. I mean, it's really feel good music. It's really kind of me speaking, uh, speaking of who I am, talking about some of the things I'm going through. Um, as an artist, I really pride myself on being really versatile. So, I mean, you're going to hear some smooth shit like you just heard, but you're always also going to hear, you know what I'm saying, some more turn shit, some more turn up type shit as well. So, it's a good mix and it all represents me. Now, let's see here. The album, of course, is going to drop on all the uh, online. He's going to sell it uh, Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, all the outlets. I'll probably put it on CD Baby next week and um, all the outlets. So you guys can just Google Frank Spiff once this drops and you'll be able to go find it, purchase it. We want you to go pay for it. Yes. Um, now, i got to ask you another question because I saw in the video where you had your shirt off. Now, <laughs> oh, that's what it. is up. That's what's happening. Don't get it twisted. I'm a professional here, but 
I'm old, but the younger, I mean, you know, have, have you thought about modeling? <laughs> With that physique you have? Nice. No, modeling is something that uh, has come across my mind. Uh, I just like to stay in shape, you know, healthy body, healthy life. So you work out a lot? Yeah, I like to work out regularly. I say I get into the gym a couple of times a week. Nothing crazy. I have some money questions to ask you, and I'm going to do that now because I'm going to do three instead of two because since you said no to the modeling, we're going to have to <laughs> see if he'll do something for some money. Uh, every week here, if it's your first time tuning in, I ask the guests, will they do something for the money that I'm going to give them? We want to know what's inside their head, either why they'll do it or why they won't do it. So we're going to start with... Let's start with the clothes off question because you had your shirt off in the video for a million bucks. That's one million. You can't tell anybody. Will you? What's well, that's not too hard because most guys would be down with doing a porno flick. Let's say a. Um, well, what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean most guys be down with doing a porno flick? Why not for a million bucks? You ask Ziggy Whisker, will you do a porno for a million? He's gonna be like, hell yeah, Miss <laughs> LB, look yeah, that shit. <laughs> Um, Maybe if I had a body like his, but not with a body like mine. <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell him I got a couple in this collection. Y'all want to pick it through? <laughs> no, stop. Everybody stop. Okay. So we'll go back to the close off question. Let's start with this one. I'm going to give you, it takes a lot of money, you know, to be in this music game. You have to pay for everything, this and that, you know, you have to pay to play because uh, you want your content to look good and you want everything, you know, the way it's supposed to be. So I'm going to give you $5 million. Would that help you out, $5 million? Yeah, motherfucking yeah, that'll help me out. <laughs> okay. You have to do something for me, and you can't tell anybody that I gave you this money. You have to act like you like it. Next, this, this year, 2016, you have to do 200 shows this year across the whole country uh, in a lot of different places. There'll be big venues, small ones. Uh, packed houses every time and you have to through that whole one time song you have to do that rich homie Quan dance through the whole record the one where he's <laughs> popping like he's looking like he's <clears throat> only a million bucks no five million for that five million that's all that's, that's... five million two hundred shows you gotta uh, pop like that gotta you gotta act like shit. you love that dance you own it you worked hard for it it's kind of like dancing like you fucking because that's what he looks like he looks so weird doing it. Uh, will you do it? <laughs> no, I'm going to say I probably wouldn't just because I'm, a, I'm an individual myself. I make up my own dance for them 200 okay. shows and I bust so, that out. And five million is just the beginning. You feel me? Okay. Five, ten years from now, five million is going to be pennies. So I'm going to say I'm being an individual with my ass for those 200 shows. Let's do some more questions like that and raise the ante a little bit, like 20 million. 20. 20 million. No, 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 no. Another, a new question. All right. You have to do a new track. And it's, you have to perform it at the 200 shows next year. I mean, this year, uh, all across the country and act like you like it. Your new track is featuring Lil B, the bass god, and the track will be called My Hubby. My Hubby. Ooh. For 20 million? 20 million? 20 million. 20 million. Again, <laughs> I cannot perform a track with another man called my hubby. That, that's just not going to happen. It's just something money came by. Y'all heard that. That's one of them. That means that yes, Mr. Sir. Frank Spiff will not sell his soul for this music game. You know, you see that a lot. You, they obviously have to be paid for some of the shit that they're doing out there uh, these days. He's not gonna go that route. He's gonna do it with <laughs> skills. But we're gonna go back to the money question. I'm gonna give him $50 million. $50 million to do the rich homie crime. No, no, a new question. New question, <laughs> A new question. <laughs> Let's see how I can do this. Get butt naked and take a selfie in the mirror and post it on all your social sites <laughs> at the same time. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just post it. Don't even put a caption or nothing. Just post it. But naked picture. Right there showing everything on all your and, social networks. 
And you got to pity them Michelle Obama DM. How your God, he said, oh, God, all in the DM. Get it up. <laughs> all yeah. in the DM. Y'all, y'all gotta in the DM. Put, it goes down. Mm. But uh, make sure you think about it. You got to go take a picture in the mirror. First of all, taking a picture, a selfie naked in the mirror for a guy is kind of. I mean, you know, and then posting it onto your social networks. The comments that you get is, will be ridiculous. Your guy fellas are going to be like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I feel that. Uh, I mean, if I did post it, I'd get hella love from the ladies. That's, that's <laughs> um, right. But I'm going to have to go once again and say, no, I'm not going to post myself butt naked for this music. No, Man, no, see, no. You're blowing the best opportunity ever because I'm going to tell you why. Because you just said it. The way you look, all right, you're going to post that shit. The ladies are going to go crazy and the guys are going to be jealous as fuck. They're going to be No, the like guys that. are not going to be jealous. They're going to be like, damn, dude. What the the hell, the inside they will. They might not talk about it, but they will be, man. Because They're going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, you missed the opportunity to turn 50 million to a couple hundred million. Ziggy, will, will, you, will you do it, Ziggy? Hell yeah, fifty million dollars. Fool, do you know how much interest fifty million dollars draws? Listen, we're trying to build a brand here. We don't need to come out like that. You just did it. You just hold on. did it. Hold on. Hold on. Fifty million is, but shit, the way I'm thinking, it's a lot bigger than the average man thinking. I'm not thinking fifty million. I'm thinking fifty billion. He is. Um, what's your Instagram say? Um, simply complex to put my complex simply. See. That's what I was trying to say. I couldn't get it on, you know. Listen, um, listen you guys right now can pull up 20 bucks a piece. I'll take 80 and do it right now. <laughs> we don't skip that. We don't. Not for, you, no, I don't, not for I, you guys. I'll post right. a picture online. I don't He's care. He's trying to get us kicked off YouTube and off everything in life. Um, <laughs> no. But I know everybody's really excited for the album. I, I told them when, you, when we lost you for a second, I think I get a little bit more excited than the artists do. I'm like a music freak and I, I just love it when new projects drop and I'm excited about your project dropping. So, and I know the people are gonna love it. Uh, you have to go follow him on Twitter at Frank Spiff, that's S-P-I-F-F. -F. And on the Instagram, it's Frank L-Y-N-N -N Spiff. So make sure that you watchers, listeners, viewers, everybody go follow him. Uh, tell us about why it's Spiff. Before you get up out of here, why is it Spiff? Tell us what Spiff means. It's not Spliff like the you know, so what's <laughs> no, Well, actually, what's Spiff, Spiff came from, I mean, shit, since high school and I, actually all the way up into college, people have always called me Spiffy in terms of the way I dress, you know, the, in terms of the way I carry myself. I've always been a Spiffy dude, so shit, I just dropped a Y and shit, people just started calling me Spiff, so I just kind of rolled with it. Well, I see a bright future for you. I'm lucky to work with you and I'm excited. What do people, where do they need to go hit you up if they want a feature from you? Are you doing features right now? Or if they want to book you at a show, where where do you want them to hit you at? Anywhere or Gmail? Hit me on, hit me on my Twitter, hit me on my Instagram. My email address are on both of those sites. Hit me up for the features, hit me up for the shows. I love collaborating. I love mixing ideas and being creative with, with, with different minds. So absolutely hit me up if you're interested, any inquiries. He's a fucking superstar. I'm about to tick. Mark my words. I, I do this all the time, Frank. I've had down through the years that we've done this show. I've ha I've had I picked out artists, and then like three or four weeks later, or two months, you'll see them up there where you can't even talk to them anymore. So <laughs> the, you know that's came through the show. So we like to repeat that. We want to repeat that uh, here tonight. I'll have to see LB. You, I think you've never been wrong on that fact. You, no, when someone comes no. on the show and you say it. it it like happens. I'm not saying it's gonna happen to you, Frank, but it happens with her. It's gonna happen. I'm never wrong. Oh, or I worse. already know. It's already <laughs> written, baby. It ain't, it ain't an if situation, it's a when. Do you wanna spit a little something for us before you go? Live right here on the live show? A little verse from the album, something? Yeah, most definitely. I could always spit a little verse from the album. Absent the concave and convex sessions, it ain't complex, it ain't chess, even checkers. The proof make me more better, make me kick it like Beckham, David Goliath in the second, the eighth section. Yeah, it be the struggle in my mental. Insane brain, the sound mind was just a rental one way. Can I get the continental? Oops, that was accidental. Sacramento, I'm the king. 
Premature was the word, so placental. Lusted with no strings, parallels the preferential. Walking with no guidance, a parental gear. A heartbreaker, a heart taker. No player coming now, I swear I call later. Pump faker, her love taker. Troublemaker breeds a money maker. I fell in love with the money maker. Destiny to study, heckling, no remedy. Ain't sweating you, why you sweating me? He on a bike with some Nikes and a pack full of rocks, yeah. He pedaling while pedaling, so petty G. And back taxes, swishes, and fat asses. It seems that the American dream has lost its way and turned nightmare. Life through a mirage, a ghetto collage, poetic massage, no got the garage, the rider crooked corsage, rose petals, lit it on the concrete, coupled with cigarette buds and a thug at the cross streets. Hey, you see? Mark my words, okay? Mark my words. Uh, I want to ask you something before you leave. What is that behind you moving? Get your nosy. Get your nosy. Go <laughs> somewhere. There you go. Look. <laughs> I, saw, I saw something moving. <laughs> Know where Daddy goes. I didn't know if it was shoes or a dog or what it was. I saw something moving behind him. <laughs> That's actually the feet of my lady. She's sitting here in the room with me. And, uh, She's going to be the- like, you should have took that 50 million and did that damn picture. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> we should have that right. question. Wouldn't take that. <laughs> when you get off you. this computer, she gonna be like, "Nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you?" See, that's what I'm talking about right now. You got to swallow your motherfucking right. face, nigga, because I ain't got time for this bullshit. Cause be in pain. Oh lord. You that's how it. <laughs> you heard it right there from Ziggy. Frank Smith, thank you so much for coming through. We'll have the podcast up for you uh, in a day or so and let you share it with all your fans who didn't get to tune in tonight. We thank you once again. Come through the trap house anytime. You got the keys to the trap. Always, baby. Much love. You want to give some shout outs before you go? Absolutely, man. Shout out my people. A Glow. Shout out my boy Sue. Shout out my boy Fresh. Shout out my girl Tyler. Shout out my family, all my homies from the shop. I love all y'all. I love all the fans. Appreciate all the love. Thank you so much, Frank Spiff. And we'll take a break and we'll be right back with y'all. Be smooth, y'all. So I gotta smoke that L.O.A. Oh, no, that's red. Oh, no, that's red. Oh, smoke that Kush. Blunt skunk up front, then we blow back. Light a new we have then serve up the entree. Taking flights through the pipe, smoking bomb. Bay shorty pussy the bomb. Yeah, hit her with the pound. Yeah, slid her the loud. Her head gave me the sound. Yeah. Uh, whoa. Quarter bird. What's the word? Bring the bread, sir. Soul powder, rocks and weed. Ooh. I done flip boy, kicked in doughs for that cheese. Ooh. I done made plenty mistakes, flip plenty cakes. Bought my first car from a junkie, from the gate. A young nigga hungry for the bread, pistol to your head. Only thing that ever had me slightly scared. Fucking fist, dreams of me floating in the bedroom like gas. But my congregation, dough, beans, and bitch, I'm the pastor receiving my offering. Me drugs got them coming in. Mingo pulled up with a truck, no, he can bring them in. Quarter bird, what's the word? Bring them bricks in. Half a bird, what's the word? Bring them bricks in. Whole bird, what's the word? Bring them bricks Quarter bird, what's the word? Bring the bricks in. Half a bird, what's the word? Bring the bricks in. Whole bird, what's the word? Bring the bricks in. Bring the bricks in. Bring the bricks in. Trying to break it in with the stuff on it. No shoes, nigga, but I stepped on it. Lit the block like a lamp on it. Moving all the base, I put the amps on it. White sand color sheet rock. Jacket flooded veins, it need a detox. Club brought it in, here I come again. Throwing money out the T-tops. Dope boy, 
what? Dope what? Dope what? Dope what? Dope what? Got fish like Atlantic. I ain't talking salmon. Stuffed the whole 250 in a panic. Let the three got the recipe and we ain't talking rapping when we talking grammars. What? 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 Nigga? Whole thing. Break it down and break it. Quarter bird. What's the bird? Bring the bread. What's the word? Bring the bricks in. Half a bird. What's the word? Bring the bricks in. Whole bird. What's the word? Bring the bricks in. Bring the bricks in. Bring the bricks in. In the Guinness book for the best risk. My trap house smell like shellfish. Crunch and shit cause I'm selfish. Killing bricks, they got a death wish. Brick stashed in my fender. Fuck a fucking in a blender. If I know them pounds inside your house, I'ma send my goons through your window. Thank the Lord for my crack pot. Push the keys, no laptop. Bought a brand new Maybach. Use the bitch for a stash spot. My trap hot and need an AC. Big lips on the rim like JC. I started off with a 16. Not a brick so clean, catching old blue. Quarter bird, what's the bird? Bring the bricks in. Half a bird, what's the bird? Bring the bricks in. Whole bird, what's the bird? Bring the bricks in. Bring the bricks in. Bring the bricks in. Quarter bird, what's the word? Bring the bricks in. Half a bird, what's the word? Bring the bricks in. Whole bird, what's the word? Bring the bricks in. You're tuned into the, the trap. You're tuned into in. the trap house Whoa. rock. Miss LB Management. Zero six three. Bring the bricks in the trap house. You just heard Tracy T from Maybach Music featuring Project Peta and Nephew Texas Boy out of Atlanta, uh, Brick C, and go watch the new video on the Vivo. Um, so big shout out once again to Frank Spiff, our incredible guest. I'm telling y'all, watch for him. You know I'm right, Mike. You know I'm right. I Listen, I am not going to doubt you, LB, because you have been spot on since I've known you. That's all. That's why I can't, that's why I always turn you on to music I like, you know, and you never like it. And I'm like, damn, it's never going to do nothing. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't like it. Well, I turn, I, I turn you on to music you just don't like. It's probably because when you give it to me, I'm doing like a thousand things. I'm like, hold up, hold up, trying to, I do like it. I can't okay. remember what it is, but I like it. <laughs> well, then I should start asking you. Like I should ask you, like you know, I'll give you fifty bucks every time I ask you. You think this artist is gonna make it? <laughs> okay. You say yes or no, and then I don't mess with him because that fifty bucks could possibly save me thousands down the road. <laughs> right. It could. It really could. Uh, Miss Honey I'm Roasted. Just... Miss Honey Roasted over there agrees. Honey Roasted what? Entertainment. Miss Honey Roasted Entertainment, right there. Greatness. That sounds like. That sounds like some Playboy type shit to me. <sighs> Honey roasted love. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you come up with the name Greatness? What does it mean? Well, actually, I'm Native American and my tribe is Potawatomi, and I couldn't, um, you know, name my company after my tribe. So she went insurance with insurance reasons. Yeah. And so um, I came up with Honey Roasted because my skin tan in the summer is Honey Roasted. It's it's a golden red and it's it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that's where it came. <laughs> now Ziggy, let's ask Ziggy a money question before we get into our exclusive and wrap this up. Um, Ziggy, since you won't talk all this junk about basically you'll do anything for money. No, I didn't anything. say that. Anything. Almost. Let me see. Will you change your rap name to My Little Pony? My little pony. For 25 million. Would I change my rap name to my little pony for 25 million? Yeah. 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 I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> He's going to break it down on why my little pony's okay. Well, uh, she ain't put no motherfucking, uh, she ain't put no stipulations on it. I could change that motherfucker to my little pony for that little quick second. Boom. Forever. 
no, 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 no. You didn't say that. I meant that. <laughs> what I say goes. Stipulation. It's recorded. See, and this is what people always mess up on, they man. They miss the fine print, or they, yes. you know. Yes. Okay, let's just say. He got me. He got me. Let's just say she did say it. You taking no. the money? No, no, not forever. Not forever. Really? really? My little oh, pony. My little pony. My, my little pony's new song called Guapo is coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say nothing like that. <laughs> I know, right? Um, but what I am going to say about the next record that we're going to play tonight, um, I told you uh, in the beginning of the show, this song is an exclusive. Uh, it comes from Detroit Flex, and it's called The Crown. Um, shout out to my boy C now over there. I call him Craig. I'll be like, why are you lying, Craig? You know what I'm saying? He's going to kill me for his government on here. But shout out to C now. Uh, he's a big producer out there in Detroit. Um, and this song is featuring Ava Stewart. Be on the lookout for his album, Assault and Battery. It's dropping any day now. So let's hit this record right now. To the mirror, trying to see what you see when I get in front of a mic and these words to live it. Intense but relaxed, mouth full of rounds and gas. Minus a trigger, fully all of clips filled with raps. I'm money made, scar face to impede these gas. And I go off and flip flops, fatigues and slacks. I iron your mic, one minute defeat these gas. Fit around, knock them out, take his mic and proceed with that. An enigma, baby, cool as a fan. Everybody's man, and like a heated to destroy the ones that play me. I rep the D, so no intimidation. You got a pride. We grew up like we about to have a demonstration To be the best, now that's my motivation Fireworks, plenty toast, and a pig roast at my coronation I'm the king, so crown me Now on my head is a bounty Quans peeps, I'm complete with my G's around me It's about time that you gave me the crown Now I do this shit for real I don't play around We know y'all ain't about that Y'all actors when I no, we go down, 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 down. Gun smoke and drama, tears for somebody's mama. After the drive by, can't say victim to out the comma. And it's more to come, sure, gonna be more than one. Like Obama sent the seals going after Osama. Checking your cubby holes in the spots of your chubby holes. Your man saying, I ain't playing with his hand to a bloody nose. The cause and effect of disrespect that he chose. Like these chicks, I'm on these niggas, neglect these hoes. And every day I'm writing, trying to kick down these blows. With these clowns that's around that I'm trying to expose. I tried to be patient, it won't impose. Now my impatience got me tossing white niggas through those. That's the tip that I'm on. I ain't trying to trip. Just want these words being her rolling off my lips. Feel like an out rhyme in it. That's not a diss. I'm unstoppable like David Banner after he gets pissed. It's about time that you gave me the crown. Now I do this shit for real. I don't play around. We know y'all ain't about that. Y'all actors, when I come, just know it goes down, 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 down. You know why I'm aggressive, lyrically impressive Sweeping up these MCs and I'm making a mess of Freestyle so hard, could be considered the best of VIP entrance to what you consider the best club Surround me with loved ones, you can have the rest of Usual people like pawns, you should join a chess club Cameos are being hard, they call you a guest of We go back and forth, nigga, I use you as a floor scrub Discard you when I'm done like you a snitch in your horse bug Like I do the cop, I knock them down, they don't get them Like accidental murderers, don't care who they wear them Watch these cats scrap for scrap to come and get shredded up Text from the ex and she trying to get sexed up The best to relieve stress cause when you come she don't let it up Loose like a punk of your crew that I had you set up The only reason they call you the best cause we ain't fed up It's time that you gave me the crown EventLevel.com, promoting indie. No one, my-
Indie Republic. We are indie. What's up, Mike? Great, Miss Ziggy. What's going on? What's going on with you, LB? <laughs> I, I really have no clue right now. Um, really have no clue. Um, we got a lot of news to cover, though. We, we've got a lot of news to cover and a lot of uh, things to talk about tonight. Uh, let's start off with the Powerball. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, for a person who's like a a, 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 cri a a criminal and wants to make some money, just go to the Powerball line where they're standing all the way down the street and just m rob all those people in line of their money. I had a couple crazy stories about the Powerball the last week because I was at the convenience store and a man. This was last week before the drawing on Saturday. He bought a thousand dollars worth of Powerball Power Play tickets. He, mm. the lady that works there knows him. So the next day when I went in there, I was like, "Did he win anything?" She was like, "Not one dollar." <laughs> he didn't even get one number, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my he, goodness, but did he get them all on the sheet, or did he get each individual ticket? He got. You can't get a thousand dollars worth on one sheet. So he had like five hundred sheets. I mean, he had so many sheets. It took 20 fucking minutes to get him out of the way so I could get my cigarettes. Okay. Yeah, I think you can only put three games on one ticket or four. No, you can put, you can put like, right, I think she said 20. No, I think she said 20 really? in, in here in North Carolina. I think so. It was, it was, a, the tickets were long. So it was a lot of 20 them. 20 times three, that's $60. But he got a thousand dollars worth anyway. So he didn't win a dollar. And then the next day, Whenever I was in the store, there was a couple in front of me, a man and a woman. And it seemed as if they had never played the lottery because they asked the lady, well, we want three Powerball tickets and how do we know if we won? I was like, standing behind, I'm thinking, what the fuck you mean? How do you know if you won? Go check the numbers anywhere in life, phone, internet, go back to the store, scan your little ticket, whatever. It's only the biggest news in the world. So anyway, the, the man, the husband was like, if I win that billion dollars, he said, I'll just buy my way into the presidency like Obama did. If a Muslim can buy their way into the presidency, I know I can. I'm thinking, I, I didn't even say anything. I'm just standing there pissed off because they won't get out of my way. And then he says to the cashier, he says, well, I guess if I couldn't buy my way in, I would just hire somebody to assassinate the president. And oh. he didn't know there was a cop in line behind me. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard somebody, I wasn't looking either. I was standing there concentrating on what he, like, get out of my way. And the cop spoke up. I heard somebody say, you need to watch what you're saying about the president. You're like, I could basically, like, take you in for that. He was supposed to lock him up for that. Yeah. Because well, he knew that he was. A, it don't matter. He, it don't matter. That's terrorist. Don't. What he just said. What he just displayed was everything terrorist. Everything he act. said. And you know, I believe the, the terrorist act. He knew that he was just a stupid redneck. Trust me. Okay. It, it, <laughs> it, it didn't matter. He was supposed to lock his ass up, put that on his file, let motherfucker know what he talking about. That's how you and know if there's no such thing. Terrorist. Now, you know yeah. what I think should happen? What I think should happen is the people stand in the line and hear someone talking stupid like that. They should, they should just kick his ass right there and leave the cops out of it. That's just stupid shit. Yeah, that's how you know ain't no such thing as terrorism, man. Well, I just... I mean, when I heard the cop, when I turned around and saw the uniform, I was just like, I was, you know me, I was like laughing like, yeah, motherfucker, you fucked up. Because I was already mad he called Obama a Muslim. And then I was mad, you know, that he said he what he said. Look, we're not going into that. I'm not getting political with you because <laughs> I'm not getting in a bad mood tonight. I'm not going to do it. His daddy is from Kenya. So that is not a Muslim. So what's, I mean, like, well, that ain't really got anything to do with it either, but you really seriously think Obama's a Muslim? Absolutely, 100%. Depending on what you so. call the Muslim. 
See, this the world don't even know what they be talking about. People just because I just about said it wrong. It's a religion, correct? It's it's you got you got people that are that that believe, that have Muslim religion beliefs. Yeah, it's have people that are actual heritage that are right. Muslims. Right. So there's a big difference between those. Yeah. Yeah, I mean there is. Um, all I can say is, are, are you guys going to get you guys a Powerball ticket? Have you tried? What's going on? Sure, why not? How many? I got mine right here, man. What? What's your Powerball no, number, Mike? No. I ain't telling you that, man. I'll tell you. You can read about the news tomorrow. I just don't see buying a thousand dollars worth. I just see buying one, and if you win, you win because the ch the odds. Uh, actually, of you winning that grand prize is one in two hundred and ninety-two point two million. Did you know? You know, before before Uncle yes, Sam came along, it's really crazy. Did you know before Uncle Sam came along and had them, got the machine together and figured it out how to do it? You know, black people used to run numbers. Well, the Italian people used to run numbers. I didn't read. I don't know how Still to. Do. I, um, I read today where somebody who works at the lottery, a big person, like somebody with a big high title, uh, resigned today because of them fixing numbers and stuff like that. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but uh, you can go look at that story. It's out there for you to look at. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take a break. We're going to get up out of here. Uh, we'll see you next time in the trap.